we have video never shown publicly before from the chaotic scene of that Asiana Airlines crash landing in San Francisco last summer. The video is important because it may answer a key question. How was a teenage girl who survived the impact later killed by a fire truck? Some of the video comes from that truck. 16-year-old Ye Meng Wan was one of three people from the plane to die. 304 others survived. Her parents are suing the city of San Francisco, claiming that the rescuers were reckless and poorly trained. Anna Werner has the story and the video. This video is from a camera mounted on a firefighter's helmet. Yeah, right through there. That's it. It was provided to us by a source close to the family of Ye Meng Wan. They say everybody's off. Let's don't go in there. Anybody's in there right now, they're dead. At first, officials said the girl was accidentally run over because she may have been hidden in foam sprayed next to the plane. But 50 minutes of helmet footage and video from a fire truck reveal a number of emergency workers warning others that a victim was on the ground near the jet. Whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. There's a body right there's a body right there, right, right in front of you. A Earlier, a camera aboard Rescue Truck 10 shows a firefighter directing the truck around a victim on the ground. Investigators agree that was 16-year-old Ye. A coroner ruled at that point she was alive. One lieutenant told crash investigators she made a three-second visual assessment and thought, that's our first casualty but did not check the girl's vital signs. Ye did become partially covered by the foam sprayed toward the plane. Some 15 minutes after the driver was first alerted about the victim on the ground, he ran Ye over. The helmet camera shows another truck also drove over Ye's body minutes later. Justin Green is one of the attorneys representing the family. What the family wants is accountability. They want to know um, why weren't uh, the firefighters trained, why weren't the supervisors certified, and why hasn't the fire department come clean about what happened? The San Francisco Fire Department told us they can't comment on pending litigation. Last month, Chief Mary Hayes White told our San Francisco station KPIX this. Our members that day had difficult decisions to make. One was uh, visualizing someone that uh, appeared to be dead versus going onto the burning plane with reports of people uh, that still needed to be rescued. The firefighter wearing the helmet cam told NTSB investigators he was wearing it because at a previous fire where two firefighters were killed, a lot of questions went unanswered. Scott, he told the investigators that from that experience, he learned the value of those cameras. And the investigation is pointing toward pilot error as the cause of the crash. Anna, thank you very much.